Sisi mtalaki anatufahamisha kwamba waziri wa usalama wa ndani Daktari Fred Matiang amedokeza kwa serikali tachapisha majina wa washukiwa wanaodaiwa kuhusika na uuzaji midarati nchini akisema ndio chanzo kikuu cha matukio ya utovu wa usalama hasa pwani vile vile amewataka wazee wa mtaa na nyumba kumi pamoja na viongozi wa kidini kutolegeza kamba kwa kutoa habari Siku moja baada ya maafisa wa ujasusi kuatia mbaroni washukiwa wanne wanaoaminika kuuza mihadarati Old Town County ya Mombasa waziri wa usalama wa ndani Fred Matiangi amedai kuwa huu ndio mwanzo wa kuatimua walanguzi the process is going on you know we have to do everything legally you saw in before christmas i published uh, you know names of a uh, a suspect we think uh, are funding uh, you know uh, terror groups we are going to do the same with uh, you know the drug traffickers or people we suspect and we have information are engaged in drug trafficking we will do that akizungumza hapa Mombasa baada ya kufanya kikao cha faragana wa kuwa usalama pwani ya Kenya kabla ya kukutana na viongozi wa kidini na wazee wa mitaa na nyumba kumi matiange ameeleza kuwa matokeo ya utovu wa usalama yanachangiwa na walanguzi wa mihadarati katika kisa cha hivi punde washukiwa wanne wale kutoka Tanzania walikamatwa na kilo mbili za mihadarati aina ya heroin yenye thamani ya shilingi milioni sita. We've never had a review of how that system is working because we have started seeing bits and pieces of uh, emerging aspects of crime. So I wanted to listen to this uh, community leaders. Wasiri Matiangi aliyesema haya baada ya kukagua miradi ya serikali ikiwemo ujenzi wa barabara ya Rungokundu Daraja la Mwache na lile la Liwatoni pamoja na kiwanda cha samaki kinachoniwa kubuni nafasi zaidi za kazi Francis Mtulaki Ringa Citizen Mombasa